Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you all the new options for joining a Google Meet from the updated Meet landing page. In their latest update, Google has changed the landing page for Google Meet, making it easier than ever to join or create new Meets. Now when you click on New Meeting, there will be three different options. The first option is to create a meeting for later. So when you click on that, you'll receive a link that you can copy and send out to all of your guests. Your guests can then go to meet.google.com and paste the link in and join. Or they can click on the link itself and be brought to the same screen. The second option is to start an instant meeting that will create a new meeting just like before. And once you start an instant meeting, your microphone and camera will automatically be turned on. So you can change these here to turn them on or off or to change your backgrounds before you actually enter the meeting. So you can select one of the different backgrounds if you'd like or the background blurs. And then once you join, you can add in other guests. And the third option is to schedule in Google Calendar. So now there's an option that you can click right on to schedule in Google Calendar. It will open up a new tab. It'll create a new event for you. You can then title it. You can schedule the date, the time. It then already has the Meet link in the event. You can click Join with Google Meet to go right into the Meet. Um, or you can put in more information. You can add your guests in. And then when you click save, it will be live and in your calendar. And then your guests will have the link right in the event itself. And then once your guests accept the invitation, when you or your guests go to the Google Meet landing page, you'll have all of your upcoming meetings displayed on the right side. Now, Google has scheduled this as a gradual rollout beginning on January 7th. So it could take up to 15 days for rapid release domains. And for scheduled release domains, it'll be a gradual rollout starting on January 21st. This is available to Google Workplace Business Starter, Business Standard, Business Plus, Enterprise Essentials, Enterprise Standard, and Enterprise Plus, as well as G Suite Basic, Business, Education, Enterprise for Education, and Nonprofit Customers. It's also available to people with personal Google accounts. It also makes a note saying that workplace essential customers will not see the schedule in Google Calendar, but will see the create a meeting for later and start an instant meeting option. So while this is just a minor update, I do like that it makes joining and creating meets a little bit more convenient. If you'd like more information on Google Meet, please check out the description below where I've listed several other Google Meet tutorials and videos. And if you know of any teachers that could benefit from watching this video, please feel free to share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show yet, please take a second, click on that subscribe button, and then click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.